Firstly, unscrew the eight screws on the top cover. And open the pump cover to reveal the inner structure of the machine. Here are the stainless steel blades and the drainage outlet of the Hocom flow macerator pump. The built-in stainless steel blades rotate to break down sewage and human waste from the toilet. And the processed sewage will be discharged from the adjacent outlet. Next, we remove the internal devices such as the motor. Here is the impeller inlet. The micro switch is covered in red rubber. And here is the stainless steel blade. When the sewage in the pump reaches a depth of 7 to 10 centimeters, the water pressure will trigger the micro switch to activate the motor, and the processed sewage will be discharged from the rightmost drainage pipe. There are two common problems that can occur with sewage pumps. The first is when the internal impeller gets stuck due to foreign objects, causing the motor to not run properly and make a humming sound. The second problem is when the delicate micro switches wear out. In this video, we will focus on how to replace the micro switches. If you want to learn more about the first issue, please stay tuned for our upcoming videos. First, unscrew the six screws on the rubber cover one by one and open the rubber cover. What comes into view is a micro switch trigger device. Then unscrew two screws and open the cover. We can see the micro switch of the machine, which opens and closes by pushing the trigger device back and forth. The micro switch is a vulnerable part of the machine. In the old model machine, it is installed at the bottom. When repairing, we need to dismantle the whole machine for replacement and repair. This is a very troublesome and annoying thing to do. After dismantling the machine, there are often strong odors from excrement and other sewage, which is a big problem for the home environment. Stay tuned for our new sump pumps at a later date. For easy replacement of sump pumps with wear parts, 